There's a glimpse in your heart Hi guys, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about the continuations of properties of integers. Okay, so this time we're going to discuss about the third property of integers, which is the commutative property. To find the sum of two integers a and b, we write either a plus b or b plus a. So for example, if you have 4 plus 3, okay, which is the same as 3 plus 4, alright? So 4 plus 3 is 7, okay, and 3 plus 4 is 7. So that's how commutative property works, okay? If you write them in this way, or if you write in this way, the answer is always the same. Another example, if you have 5 plus negative 2, that is also equal to negative 2 plus 5. So they're the same, which is the answer is positive 3. Right? So 5, this one because if you have plus minus here, it will give you negative or minus. Then 5 minus 2 is 3. But in here, it will become minus 2 plus 5. Okay? So it will give you also a positive 3. So whatever your way okay, on how to solve this problem using the commutative property, the, uh, the answer is always the same find the product of two integers a and b we write either a times b or b times a for example if you have 4 times 3 okay, and this is equal to 3 times 4 right and the answer is 12 Another one, if you have 5 times negative 2, this will be also equal to negative 2 times 5. Okay? And the answer is negative 10. Okay, because 5 times negative 2 here is negative 10. And the same is in here. Negative 2 times 5 is also negative 10. So in general, if A and B are integers, then commutative property of addition is A plus B equals B plus A. Similarly, in commutative property of multiplication, A times B is equal to B times A. Okay, so let's have two more examples under commutative property of addition and commutative property of multiplication. So for example, if you have 10 plus 5, this will be equal to 5 plus 10. And the answer is equal to 15. Alright, but in multiplication, if you multiply 10 times 5, is also equal to 5 times 10 and the answer is equal to 50 so that's how commutative property works under uh, properties of integers all right so I hope you've learned from this lesson and please if you are not yet connected to my channel please don't forget to subscribe click the bell so that you get notified the next time I uploaded my next video and if you have time to share my video I really appreciate that one so thanks so much for that okay so that's all for today bye for now